A massive heat wave is gripping the southwest today. In fact, some 27 million people right now are under heat warnings. Record high temps are expected to hit places like New Mexico and California and Arizona. In Phoenix, they're looking at 113 degrees. And in Death Valley, temps could hit as high as 121. The suspect in Long Island's Gilgo Beach serial killings is now charged in the deaths of two more women. New forensic DNA testing methods were used to link 60-year-old Rex Heuerman to those crimes. Prosecutors claim police also found a planning document at his home that they're calling the blueprint to his killings, where he laid out his murder plans. We now know that one killer can kill in all different ways, as he did, and not just uh, in a pattern as had been previously thought. Instead, this man is capable of killing by dismembering. He's capable of killing by using weapons. Hewerman is now charged with murdering six women. Well, let's go to Texas because storm trackers have found what you're looking at here. They're calling this a massive hailstone. And this is probably, if it's legit, a state record bigger than a monster energy can, as you can see. Storm chasers estimate this thing at seven and a half inches long. That would set this record with an inch to spare. Still needs to be confirmed by researchers, and believe it or not, that could take months. You want to feed the giraffe? <gasps> feed him. Look, feed him. Come here. Look. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. oh. A giraffe at a safari park in Texas gets way too close for comfort. A little girl is trying to feed that giraffe when, yes, it grabs her shirt with its mouth and pulls her out of the truck. No one was hurt, but the park is now saying guests are no longer allowed to ride in the bed of a pickup truck. Are you nice? You're in my house. Pretty calm, all things considered, as that bear made itself inside a California kitchen, seemingly friendly, walked right in, stood in the doorway. The guy filming says he had to use some quick thinking to get it out of his house. He sprayed the bear with a little bit of water, found it had a friend hanging out in the backyard. The bear eventually got bored, scaled the fence, and then went to a neighbor's house. We are learning more about the Michigan man who went viral. I'm sure you've seen it after his court hearing for driving with a suspended license, and he showed up while driving on Zoom. Corey Harris here claimed this was the result of a clerical mistake. Well, the judge, however, not buying it. In fact, records show Harris has never had a driver's license in the state of Michigan or in any state oh, no. ever.